Hello everybody, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. Um, do you guys like my shirt? I wear it to work all the time now. I was um, kind of scared to originally wear it to work because sometimes people could get offended by it. Luckily, all of the customers who have pointed out how amazing this shirt is have complimented it and are very sweet and are like, oh, well, of course you're people too. But you know, sometimes when people need that reminder, that baristas are people. What can I say? So today I have something very interesting coming to you. If you know me, you know that one of my favorite sweets in the entire world is s'mores. Before Easter started, I went to TJ Maxx because that's where I get everything. And I decided that I was going to pick up something very special that I have here. And you'll see in a second. Um, I was going to pick up something very special to make a, um, Easter beverages with. And this is gonna be weird to think of in a beverage, but bam! I got cotton candy, question mark? I was gonna make these like alcoholic beverages that you pour over cotton candy and the candy makes it really sweet. And then I kind of opted out of it because I was kind of skeeved out. But now I have this container of pre-made cotton candy and I wasn't really sure what to do with it. I've never in my life like eaten pre-made. So this is gonna be exciting. <laughs> How do you even, ah, got it. So I never ended up making the drinks that the cotton candy, that the cotton candy, that the cotton candy was supposed to be used for. So I've just been having this cotton candy laying around my room. I've been trying to think of what to make. So I thought I might as well uh, look on Pinterest because when do I not look on Pinterest for something? So luckily I found not only a really cool recipe to use the cotton candy for, but a recipe for something that's my favorite. It is only like super awesome that I would find a uh, cotton candy s'mores recipe. This picture of cotton candy s'mores is the prettiest picture ever. So my goal is to attempt to somehow reenact that picture. But I don't know how well it's gonna work, but we're gonna try anyways. All right, so we are doing cotton Candy S'mores by the blogger Sequins in the South. Guys, this is gonna be so exciting to try and reenact this. We're gonna go down and try and make it. But first, how can I not try pre-made cotton candy if I've never had it before? It feels like a cotton swab. Oh, oh, it's like blueberry. Oh, it's like blueberry cotton candy. Not plain. Very good though. No, 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 no. All right, let's head downstairs and let us make our cotton candy s'mores. We only need four ingredients. We need our marshmallows or marshmallow fluff. I'm going to use marshmallow fluff because this is what she used. Um, this is what sequins in the South used in their tutorial and it looks like it's gonna be easiest. I've never actually purchased marshmallow fluff before. This is the first time, so it's super exciting. Then we need our cotton candy. As I said before, I just got this at TJ Maxx. We need our graham crackers and we need sprinkles. So I just got like your basic sprinkles. I've been trying to use these up anyway, so that's what's gonna happen. So, first thing we're gonna do is open all the crackers. We are going to get a spoon and place fluff on the bottom cracker. So let us make the bottom cracker the one that's closer to me. We're gonna spoon it. I'm getting a big spoon. I don't know about you guys, but this looks like it's gonna deserve a lot because we gotta make it super melty. There we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's the next step? Next. Add sprinkles. Place a good amount of cotton candy on top of the sprinkles. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do blue on two, and then you can see that she changes colors halfway through, so we're gonna do purple on two. Purple! Purple! Now we have to go back, put more fluff, She got four to stand. How did she do that? I don't know 
what's happening? <laughs> All right, so this is what we're left with. I don't know how to make it any better than this. So we're gonna deal with this. We're taking the top one. Oh gosh. Pretty good. It's great flavored cotton candy. Yo. What do I do with the rest of them? This is not something to eat when you just put makeup on. Oh my gosh, look at it, it's so sad. Mm, it's just like falling over. The Leaning Tower of Cotton Candy Sadness. Pretty dang good. All right, well this is what we got left after I ate one. You can see it really doesn't like to stand and uh, honestly, I'm not even gonna try and make it stand. Oh, that's what happens when you try to make it stand. Oh my gosh, it like is not coming off of my face. So, it's pretty good. Um, I'm not sure what I think about the texture because you kind of lose the texture of like the soft fluffy um, cotton candy when you're eating all the marshmallow fluff. But the cotton candy part I really like. Even though it's like flavored, it's fruit flavored. I've never had fruit flavored cotton candy before in my life. Don't really know what I'm gonna do with this. Probably gonna try and give it to my dad because my brother doesn't want it. <laughs> so that is all that I have for you today. I wanna say thank you so, so much for watching. Feel free to like the video down below. Also feel free to comment. Have you ever made these before? Have you ever made cotton candy with anything else? Because I still have this entire thing left to figure out what to do with. I'm not really excited for it. Also, feel free to subscribe to my channel and become a member of the Moon Tribe so you can continue getting updates on other videos that are to come. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will be seeing you guys next time. Bye. Oh, no. No, no, the blueberry is better than the grape.